What's up guys? I'm here at the gas station just pumping some gas. Just got the car washed. And um uh I don't know if y'all see my last video, it was like a little short. It was just about the two-step. And today I'm just going to dip and show y'all exactly how I installed it. I'm gonna clean up some of the wires and then um that'll all be in the video. I'll probably do a couple launches with the two-step. And uh I'll also be talking about like the plans that are coming up for the car because we are going to be doing the nitros real soon. I just got to order a couple more parts and do a couple more installation videos. And the car's going to be moving and we're going to be doing everything for the nitrous. Right now there's a switch right there, right next to my shifter. All I got to do is hold that down and the uh, limiter starts doing its thing. So it's like a launch control. And then after that, just launch it. So we'll be doing some videos right now. All right, guys, we just stopped here at uh, Advanced Auto Parts. I just need to get some zip ties and some double side tape. And uh, I'll start going on the GoPro. And we'll go into the engine bay and start setting everything up and cleaning it up. All right, guys, um, I just finished installing the two-step. I just need to adjust it because right now I, I had it set up pretty good the other day, but I uh, I was messing with it right now and I, I set it up a little too high. But yeah, I just got the car washed today. But I mean, let me just show you what I've done with the two-step. So the box, Hopefully you can see it. The box is right here. It's just two. It comes with a harness. You can follow these right here. It goes into the coil packs. Like the main connection to the coil packs on each side. And then I have the yellow wire run through here. All the way into the inside. And it's connected to 12 volts. And that's for my, uh, the two step. And right now I have it activating like around 3000. Uh, like around 3000 RPM. So I'm just turning the RPM down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a pretty clean install. Uh, you, you have these two extra coils that go around, but I mean, other than that, it's not too noticeable. Like, this is already connected. If y'all see my previous videos, I already have all the nitro stuff connected. I just have it, got it, like, hooked up. And this orange wire right here, if y'all can see that, this orange wire, is going to be connecting to the, the one that sends power from this outlet from this uh, window switch to the solenoids and that's what's gonna activate the whenever it pulls timing. Cause this box that I got right here, the LNC 2000, it pulls timing and it's also a launch control. So I already fixed my launch control. I uh, turned it down to a 2000, I think I have like a 2400, 2300. So right now I'm just turning the car back on and give it a try real quick just to see if it stays there. So as you guys saw, it just stayed like at 2,400. That's pretty much where I could set it to. Because if not, the tires, like the back tires will start doing like a burnout. And um, I still have to test, test it out the track, which I will be doing most likely like this Sunday if the track is open. I'll be taking it out there to uh, do some launches, see if we could dial it in, or if it's already like in a good spot. And we'll try to get like our personal best. But yeah. It was a super easy install. I didn't really go into depth because there's plenty of videos and it's super simple. It's just connecting the two connections and then your your way of doing the activation. I have my activation button right there. I don't know if you can see it with the camera angle right there. So all I have to do is, let me show you real quick. All I have to do is whenever I'm in the staging lane, once I do have the nitrous, I'll just turn this button on. This will arm my nitrous system, all right? And then I'll use this button to purge the nitrous, right? And I'll just be the tsh -tsh -tsh -tsh. And then I'll be at the line, the staging line. I'll press the brake all the way down. 
and then hold the button down excuse me uh, and then press the gas pedal all the way to the floor and then the three lights will go down or if i'm on pro tree they'll just shine the the yellow lights and then as soon as that light turns green all i gotta do is let go of the brake and the button at the same time just like that and my bass pedals are already to the floor and they're just gonna shoot up the rpms i'll do a little i'll do a little test hit right now just so you can see it but it's not gonna catch a grade because we're in the street but uh yeah let's just go do that real quick set up still just a little too high i'm gonna turn the 100s down a little bit i should fix it Kind of trial and error at the moment. So in park, it would give me a different. Let me charge it up a little bit more. So I need to turn this RPM up. Okay, let's give that a try. Yeah. 